Well, I am back. If you've been following the channel for a while, you've known uh, that I made videos on GEICO Auto Insurance. I switched from State Farm over to GEICO, and it was frustrating because I'd been with State Farm for, I think, about seven years uh, when I switched. So I went uh, back in my video just to look at what the numbers were. So I was going to have to pay uh, $824.98 for State Farm with a totally clean record. I had the grades, all the st I had all the stuff, all the discounts you could possibly get. Um, and they wanted me to pay $824.98 for six months of insurance. So, like I said in that video, I shopped around for Progressive was $691 for the exact same coverage. Um, and then I ended up going with GEICO. GEICO gave me $541 or $90.16 a month for my 2016 Ford Focus ST. At the time, I was 24 years old. Uh, I'm now 25 years old. Um, and I'm going to go through my, my whole insurance layout here just so you can compare exactly what I have for my age, car, everything. So, 2016 Ford Focus ST, bought it brand new. Um, $541. After six months of coverage with the uh, for $541, uh, it then went up to $585. I had no claims. I had nothing. Nothing happened that could have possibly made my insurance go up, but it went up uh, $40. I was like, you know what? That's still low. Uh, I'm not going to bother with it this time. Now I get another email. I'm up for my six-month renewal on the 24th of September, 2017 and we're up to $615.36. Still low, I agree. Uh, and the nice thing about the, about the insurance that I currently have is there's an extended warranty on my car. So once I get out of the 36,000 mile, uh, uh, you know, full coverage and the 60,000 mile powertrain or whatever, um, this is when the GEICO warranty will take over. And that was a really big selling point for me on this. The only way you can get that is if you buy a car new or it has under 15,000 miles and is less than a year old or something like that. So not everyone can get that. I was in the situation where I could get that and I think that's really nice to have because I do plan on keeping my ST for a long time. So it just, you know, it I I don't have to worry past when my warranties are out. It's still under warranty. I pay a $250 deductible and they will cover all the rest. So I think that's great. But why is this being driven up? So I'm going to call a couple insurance companies today, see what uh, they offer me, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. But I think it's kind of ridiculous that you know they just jack the prices up on this. And the reason insurance companies do this, just like cable companies, it's just such scum. But the reason they do this is because a lot of people won't bother. A lot of people get that and they just they don't have the time uh, to go and shop it and do all this stuff. My advice to you is you probably should be using a broker because a broker has tools where they can shop, you know, who knows, 10, 20 companies at one time uh, and knock it all out for you in, in one step. So if you uh, have access to a broker, I'd suggest, if you don't have a lot of time, I suggest you use a broker. Uh, but if you have time, like me, and actually, I enjoy this process. I like gunning these people down and uh, uh, figuring out why the hell my policy went up. So. Uh, I'm going to give GEICO a call first, uh, if they will drop it down to the previous rate of uh, 585, I will gladly stick with it. If they don't, I'm going to start calling. So uh, we will see what happens. Okay, so let's break down my vehicle coverage. Six month premium, $615.36, 2016 Ford Focus ST, comprehensive, $250 deductible, uh, so that'll be eighty-one dollars and thirty cents. Collision two hundred six dollars twenty-eight cents. Emergency road service three dollars thirty-five cents. Rental reimbursement uh, eleven dollars eighty-seven cents. Mechanical breakdown insurance twenty-one forty-five. Uh, and again, that's that special warranty I'm talking about, uh, which is why I have that on there. Now, uh, what this includes: so bodily injury liability uh, hundred thousand or per person three hundred thousand per occurrence. Property damage liability, $100,000 per occurrence. Medical payments, $5,000 per person. Uninsured motorist bodily injury, $100,000 per person, $300,000 per occurrence. Underinsured motorist, $100,000 per person, $300,000 per occurrence. So now you know exactly uh, what I have, uh, what I'm paying for, and how that all uh, breaks down. 
So the bodily injury is $118.04, property damage $99.14, medical payments $36.01, uninsured motorist $6.16, underinsured motorist $31.76. Let's give them a call. Oh, I'm just juiced right now. So I just got off the phone with Geico, a little bastard lizard, paying him too much. Anyways, so why did my rate go up? Uh, because medical and vehicle costs have gone up in the area. Have they? Okay, so my friend in Florida also got the same thing. They also went up there. They also went up in Montana. They also went up in every, also went up in every, went up in every state across the country. All of them, 50 out of 50, it all went up. Everything's up. Jesus. So I also asked for renter's insurance. She's like, oh, if you do your renter's insurance through us, you can get a discount, 3%, line by line, stack and pack. So I'm like, okay, send me to them. So my renter's insurance, I currently pay $119. It act, this continues to go down. I don't even know why. But through, I have my renters still through State Farm because it's such a good rate. So I told the guy, listen, uh, you've been not even close for the past six months on my renter's insurance. He's like, well, for that same coverage through GEICO, your renters will be $419 annually. I'm like, that's quadruple what I'm paying at State Farm. It's like, it's $119 for a year. He's like, yeah. I'm like, like, what the hell? How can it fluctuate that much? That's a joke. Also, something very interesting. While I was on the call with the girl, I was looking through my policy. While I'm on the phone, I was logged out of this account. I was logged out of my GEICO account, so I wasn't able to look at it with her. Only she can look at it. What kind of shit is that? Are you kidding me? So I can't talk to you about it? I can't look at it? I have to just... I don't know. So, uh, I'm gonna call some others right now and we'll see, uh, we'll see what they have to offer. Let's call, um, I'm gonna call Progressive first. Just got off the phone with Progressive. Good amount, uh, pretty, it was a pretty quick thing, that less than 10 minutes. For the exact same coverage minus the mechanical breakdown insurance, which is that extended warranty, uh, it would be $116 a month for Progressive. So, $698 for six months. So they're in the ballpark, but still it's not as good as of coverage and um, it costs more. So I'm gonna call Traveler's Insurance and see what they have to say, but it has gone up a little bit since I first started with GEICO, but having that warranty, having all this stuff that I have on here, it's GEICO's looking better and better. So it sucks that it's going up, but I think you're smart to continually shop around uh, for this type of thing. So I'm going to call uh, Travelers and we'll see what they have to say. <laughs> Travelers Insurance? <laughs> $966 for six months. Um, wow. I guess what I'm telling you is I'm going to be sticking with Geico. Now, and again, that 966 does not include that mechanical breakdown insurance, which covers my car up to 100,000 miles uh, for anything that happens to it. So uh, we are going to be happily staying with Geico. I did my due diligence, due, gil due diligence, and shopped around, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and pay the bill. So. I hope this was helpful to you. I'm going to continue this process uh, with, the, with the insurance videos. Um, but post any questions you have below. Uh, post your rates, uh, what state you're in, all that kind of stuff. I think you know that helps in the comments uh, just to have all that information there for anyone that's shopping around uh, or maybe new drivers or anything like that. But for me, Geico, you're doing a great job so far, even though the rates have gone up slightly each time. Uh, but I'm watching you. Uh, I'm going to continue to do business with you, Geico. I love your little lizard. And that's all. So thank you for watching. If you're still with me on this video, hit the like button. Um, if you don't like the video, hit the like button anyways. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. We will see you soon. I do plenty of videos on my Focus ST. Uh, as you can see, this is a car-focused channel. So if you like this content, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.